All right, in this video, we're going to be reviewing the new Selkirk Labs Project 006 tour. Now, the question that everyone wants to know is, is it worth it? Well, All right, before we get deep into this review, this is a 16 millimeter paddle. It is a raw carbon face with a polymer core. The handle is 5.75 inches. The grip is four and a quarter inches and it's an elongated shape. And the stock weight actually comes in between 8.3 to 8.7 ounces. Out of all the Selkirk paddles that I've tried, you can generate the most spin with this paddle. And last thing I wanna add, there's a two year warranty on this paddle. And last but not least, it's made in the USA. All right, so I've been using this paddle for about one or two weeks now. And if you don't know, I'm currently using the Halo Control Max 16 millimeter. So just to give you kind of idea where I'm coming from, this Selkirk SOK Halo has a lot of control, big sweet spot, and it's definitely on the softer side when it comes to paddles. So my initial thoughts of the new Project 006 it's pretty interesting because it took some time to get used to this. One of the key differences that you can see right off the bat is the size. Obviously it's well rounded on the top. So the sweet spot is gonna be a little bit smaller than what I'm used to. But one thing noticeably right off the first hit is the response and the dwell time that I kinda feel off of this paddle. I don't know how else to, to describe it, but when I hit with this new project 006 it kind of has a trampoline effect or a spring effect and when i'm hitting this ball i had the same swing and power in my shot this 006 is going to send that ball a lot further so this project 006 is thorough formed like a lot of paddles today one thing that you'll notice is the stock weight is pretty heavy there's not a lot of paddles out there where they come in over 8.2 or 8.3 ounces, but this is one of them. One thing that I could say is that it didn't feel as heavy as it is. Usually I do add some lead tape to add some weight and to add some stability on the paddle. But for this Project 006, it actually felt really well balanced, not super head heavy like other heavy paddles. So it felt really balanced in my hand and it felt pretty good. One of the first things that I did on this paddle is hit against a wall. And I like to do that because I can see how big the sweet spot is, feel what it feels like when I'm dinking and walling. I think this is one of the first things that you should do when you get a paddle. Hit against the wall for five or 10 minutes just to get the feel of the grip length of the face and how it responds when you hit the ball. Again, the big surprise for me was the trampoline effect, or I call it the spring effect off this paddle. I really haven't felt too many paddles that felt like this. You can really get a lot of plow through. And, you know, when you're swinging through this ball, it really feels like you don't have to hit it that hard to send it. But it's also not going to have as much power like a power hair or something of that nature. Those kinds of paddles are a lot thinner. This is a 16 millimeter with maybe a lot of flex and a lot of spring off the face. One of the reasons why I play with the Halo 16 millimeter max is for the control. There's lots of paddles out there that are thick like this 16 millimeter and there's also thinner ones as well. This Halo gives me a lot of control and I felt the same with this Selkirk Project 006. Again, because of that spring trampoline effect, I did feel initially a lot of my dinks, the recess and things like that pop up. But once I got used to actually swinging less and allowing this paddle to do the work, the touch and the feel was really, really great. So where I found this paddle do really, really well is dinks, resets, and 100% on top spin shots. Drives from the baseline, and especially my fourth shot rolls up at the kitchen line, whether it was hitting a forehand topspin roll or a backhand topspin roll felt really, really great. 
for whatever reason, that spring or trampoline effect, that's the way I describe it at least, that allowed me to actually roll up on the ball and get a lot of swing speed and also topspin. Now let's talk about the sweet spot. It's definitely a little bit smaller, not by much, but this Project 006 Tour has a really good sweet spot as far as I'm concerned. And now let's get to one of the very few things that I dislike about this paddle, and that is the shape. Maybe it's just me, but I've gotten so used to having more of a square top on top of a paddle here. I don't know if it's really true or not, but I think that square face broadens that sweet spot. But as I played with this more and more, I got more and more used to it. So I think that this is a really great paddle, but if they made something like this, maybe it's gonna come future in the future down the road. If they made this more square, I think I'd probably like this a lot better. The last thing I wanna talk about here is the grip. It is almost a full six inches. So if you have two-handed shots and you like to add that offhand to your paddle, this is a really easy paddle to navigate a two-hander. So for those of you that are tennis players and also who are working on their two-hand shots, I think this paddle is really great for that. I would say this paddle is for players who like to generate a lot of topspin and use their rolls and things like that. Again, this paddle is really easy for me to generate topspin up at the knob volley zone line and for my drives at the baseline forehand and backhand side. All right, so in conclusion, will I be switching to the Project 006? I'm not sure. I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. I do really, really love the feel and the softness that this paddle provides and the extra power and spin that this has over the Halo SLK that I currently use. Again, the shape is something I'm going to definitely have to get used to. And this handle length is something a little bit longer than I'm used to because I'm using the Max right now. But this will give me the opportunity to add that other hand and use it for two-handed back-end shots. So to finish up this review, is this paddle worth it? What I would honestly say is if money is an issue and you're on a tight budget, I probably wouldn't recommend this to you. But if money is an issue, this is a really great paddle for top spin anytime you're rolling up at the kitchen line for ground strokes and things like that. I think this paddle had a really, really great touch up at the kitchen line, my dinks and my resets. Again, they felt really, really great. The only adjustment, uh, kind of a big adjustment I had to make was the spring that comes off this paddle because it really launches way more than the paddle that I'm used to. Again, if you'd like to purchase one of these paddles, use our discount code in the link in the description below. It will help support our channel. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next review.